All right, it's the most genuine symbol of Christmas. Nativity scenes have been recreated for centuries by Christians all over the world. Artists created early nativities out of terracotta, wax and wood, modern ones made of porcelain, rosin, and china. Well, starting tonight, hundreds of nativities will be on display in Crestwood, along with one involving real people. This is the seventh year of the Festival of Nativities, which we have hosted. It began with just a few hundred nativity scenes and has expanded over the years to this year being having over 600 nativity scenes. In fact, one of the women who's contributing uh, nativities this year from um, the Methodist Church is contributing 150 of her own nativities as part of the 600. It's a great opportunity for families to come together. We have various activities for the children. We have um, concerts that begin each evening's events and just a wonderful time to share the spirit of Christmas and the spirit of Christ as a community and as families together. Yes, he did say 600 creches are on display. The Festival of Nativities is a free event that runs for the next three nights in Crestwood. We have got a number of activities planned for the Festival of Nativities this year. This is our seventh year, and one of the fun things that we do for children that come to the festival is to give them a craft to do. And of course, in every nativity scene, you know, you're going to see lamb and sheep. And so we're going to let kids actually put together uh, a, lamb, a yarn lamb like this with clothespins. And we think this is a really nice way to get them engaged in the story and give them something to take home and remind them about the stories that they've heard here today. With over 600 nativities here on display at the festival, each one has a unique story. And some, of course, tell the story of the birth of Jesus Christ, um, but other ones have more personal meaning to them. For example, we've got two here uh, that are international. So there's one from Ecuador and the other is from China. And what's unique about these two is that both were purchased by families. Uh, this one actually was done by a uh, commissioned uh, by a Christian Chinese artist to do for them. They had gone to these countries, Ecuador and China, to uh, adopt a child. And they wanted to come back with something uh, from that child's culture that they could share with them throughout their lives. And so they were able to get these pieces here. And it's, it's so wonderful as you see, and there's actually a whole international section in our festival with activities from all around the world. And you will see how people put themselves and their culture into the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. And it's a beautiful thing and it's a great opportunity to see nativities that you wouldn't see anywhere else. Very wow. interesting. The Festival of Nativity starts tonight, runs tomorrow evening as well as Saturday. I'll trade you a King Wenceslas for a shepherd. <laughs> I don't think that's what they do with those pieces. If you go, be sure to bring a coat, not just for yourself. Bring an extra one to donate to their community coat drive. You can find details online, CrestwoodNativities.com. A clutch like me would not be good around 600. <laughs> Careful, no tripping. This